So I might represent a remote student um, attending school virtually. That's Alex Chow, a graduate student at UC San Diego, working on his master's degree in computer science. He's actually 100 miles away at home in Riverside, remotely operating a new robot that's in development on the campus in La Jolla. So with this robot, um, you could you know, move the robot around like so, uh, turn around the environment, grab stuff with the arm and the gripper, and basically interact with your, with your classmates um, to get a more immersive experience of school while you're at home. Chow is one member of a team of UCSD graduate students experimenting with this bionic simulated person that could someday soon help children with special needs. Pratusha Gosh is also on the team doing research for her PhD dissertation. If they're unable to physically attend school, then they may be able to use this robot to actually actively participate in school as a robot. This group project is happening on the second floor of the brand new Franklin Antonio Hall, named after the late Qualcomm co-founder who was a UCSD graduate. Antonio donated $30 million of the $180 million it cost to construct the four-story state-of-the-art building designed by engineers to house the next generations of engineers. We're bursting at the seams. Albert Pisano was a good friend of Franklin Antonio. He is also the dean of the UC San Diego Jacobs School of Engineering, which has reached a record enrollment of almost 10,000 students. This new building makes room for growth and brings students, professors, researchers, and industry leaders together under one solar-powered roof. When you sit in this building, you are simultaneously motivated to look out and to work within, to collaborate and to think big thoughts independently. The building is divided into more than a dozen collaboratories, labs with collaboration going on every day on every floor. Right now we're working on a home robot that can take your groceries and put them away. Henrik Christensen is director of robotics. He teaches and mentors mechanical and electrical engineering students, and also those who are working on degrees in computer science, who design software to make the magic happen. Now I get to have them all in the same space, and this makes a big difference for them to talk to each other, to really understand how can they complement each other on building products we've never seen before. It isn't your grandfather's engineer anymore, I can assure you that. In the past 10 years, Pisano and his team have led the Jacobs School into the top 10 engineering universities in the country. He says the new home that was built on what used to be a parking lot will keep the school in the top 10 housing research in artificial intelligence, development of powerful long-lasting batteries for electric cars, and this. Making thin film sensors even less intrusive than a Band-Aid that not only can understand what's going on with your metabolism, but be powered by the very sweat that your skin exudes. No batteries. Try to move the robot towards the target. The learning curve and vibe running through Antonio Hall is just getting started as unpacking and setup continues. There is no social distancing here. Engineers are working side by side and face to face. As the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. And they have. Cedric Girard is a postdoctorate engineer from Lyon, France working on a device that will make colonoscopies much more comfortable. Professors are closer to each other in this space, so it's easier for discussions. It's, uh, I think it creates a more dynamic environment for collaborations. Pisano has the welcome mat out. The world is filled with issues that need to be addressed now. A workable solution now is better than a perfect solution later. So the future is now, and it's happening in real time. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.